It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And today I want to talk with you about Kalanchoe bayerensis or felt plant. This is one of my favorites because it has this wonderful soft leaves. It feels so good to the touch. The underside of the leaf is very bumpy. The top part of the leaf is kind of fuzzy and hairy and it's just, it's just a fun plant. It has the potential to get quite large in the garden too. So remember one way to contain a plant that has the potential to get quite large is to put it in a pot rather than put it in the ground. Hannah says, how large can it get? Well, uh, I have seen this plant grow to be six feet tall by as wide. It'll get great big thick stalks and one branch can weigh 30 or 40 pounds. I remember at a maintenance once, Hannah and I were dealing with a very mature Kalanchoe bayerensis, and I had her take a picture of me holding just a leaf uh, or, a, or a branch, and people accused me of photoshopping it. I was so offended. It was not photoshopped. That was really how big it was. So anywho, uh, in this garden, my backyard garden, which is on the smaller side, this is a plant that I probably wouldn't put in the ground, but rather in a pot. Another thing that I love about the Kalanchoe are all of the little hybrids that are coming onto the market now. Check these cuties out. We've got Kalanchoe black tie and we have Kalanchoe teddy bear, which is kind of like chocolate soldier, but the tag says teddy bear is darker brown with more oval leaves and a darker bear paw fingernail. So how cute are these little guys? You could actually collect Kalanchoe's. There are that many options now. So, you know, I know Altman plants, that's where I got these. If you want to go check out what they have to offer and maybe start a little Kalanchoe collection. I think there's five or six different varieties you can choose from. This is a frost tender plant, meaning that it will not tolerate extended temperatures below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but you can cover it with frost cloth if you're anticipating the occasional drop in temperature. This one doesn't like to be wet, so you need to let the soil dry thoroughly before you water. And, um, you know, basically stand back because it will get quite large. Now, these little hybrids, these are going to stay fairly small. Uh, you can tell that this big brother is the one that's going to get large. So I actually found a brown pot. This was actually in my house and it had silk flowers in it and I was so over it. Oh my gosh. Um, I threw away the silk flowers. The pot has a drainage hole. Yeah, it was Uncle Bob's. It was on the dining room. Hannah's looking at me like I'm telling a tale. Oh, I'm yeah, not. I remember it now. I remember Thank it you. Now. now she remembers. Yes, it had all those giant fake flowers in it. It was on our dining room table. So anyway, threw all that crap away. And I thought, what a perfect pairing for this tomentosa because there aren't that many succulents that are brown, are there? Unless they're dead. <sighs> In which case, we probably wouldn't want to showcase them in a pot. So, check this out. How adorable is that? So, this is a plant that prefers partial shade in the hotter areas. It can do full sun along the coast. But this is an area in my garden that gets partial shade and, and dappled sun. And I think it is just going to be extremely happy. I'm going to be able to control the size of the plant with it here as well by putting it in a pot. So don't forget, Kalanchoe is a great collectible plant. You can grow these under lights inside if that's what you need to do. Uh, enjoy your Kalanchoe's. These plants are soft. They don't have any thorns and they're a great um, great option, especially for the beginner. And yeah, so Kalanchoe Bayerensis. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day.